how Huawei can foster a new wave of innovation in Europe? Actually, uh, Huawei came to Europe more than 20 years ago. And we start our research and the development activities since then on. And in the past 20 years, we have been working very closely with the European researchers and uh, professors mm -hmm. in many, many areas. Also, the Rides on 2020. Exactly. Yes, okay. So last year, we invest more than 15 billion US dollars mm -hmm. into the research. And in the coming five years, we committed to investing more than 100 billion US dollars into the research. We have two parts. One part we call it is fundamental research. It's basically we invest to get knowledge. At the moment, we have uh, 23 R&D facilities across 14 European, Afri uh, European countries mm -hmm. and uh, more than 2,500 uh, researchers you know, uh, working with us. And also we extend our collaboration into the more than 300 uh, universities in Europe. Mm -hmm. We believe this investment will enhance Europe's uh, leadership in those research areas. 5G is becoming will become the backbone of our society, economy and institution, you know, fostering ever more digital diffusion and digital transformation. What is the Huawei commitment on uh, bring 5G in Europe to foster this wave of innovation and help Europe to achieve the digital leadership? Actually, I'm very, very convinced that uh, Europe have a very good opportunity to take the leadership in the next wave of industrial revolution. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you look at the, the upcoming fourth industrial revolution, it's more about the combination of the ICT, or digital technology, including 5G, mm -hmm. AI, big data, and so on, with the traditional uh, industry. So everybody knows that Europe is very strong in the industry. You know, like the airspace, like the manufacturing, and we have big healthcare. Countries like Germany, Italy, France, exactly, Italy. exactly. Yeah. Is Europe is indeed the natural 5G leader because mm -hmm. 5G standardization is actually mostly uh, enabled or born here in Europe. You have the most advanced leaders, mm -hmm. you know, uh, in Europe, including Ericsson, Nokia, Siemens, Vodafone, mm -hmm. all the operators. They are very yeah. capable yeah. of forming the, the reshaping the future 5G landscape. So imagine, I think if the best industrial base married with the best 5G technology, mm -hmm. you can have plenty of potential of imagination. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very promising, you know, uh, and we, we believe this kind of success will only be achieved when Huawei work together with the European industrial players you know, to joint innovate some key applications you know, to enable the other industry to benefit from the technology like 5G, you know, AI or, or big data. How Huawei can cooperate with the European enterprises to create an ecosystem of foster innovation for digital transformation? for next years. 5G, or the next generation of ICT technology, mm -hmm. is all about the most advanced infrastructure. You know, it's like highway. So yeah. first we work with the operators to build the most advanced uh, information highway. Mm -hmm. And number two, we work with the industry players, the big co European companies, mm -hmm. to work together with them, to understand their, their requirements, you know, their future uh, technology trend, and we find out how the ICT technology can help them, you know, in this transformation journey. And uh, here in Paris, we have an open app, and we committed to invest 35 million euros in the coming five years. And this open app is actually a perfect place where we invite the the European players, most of them are small uh, startups, yeah. you know, SMEs, together to build up the use cases. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, we have already some very exciting uh, use cases already been, been, been joint innovated for the retail industry, for some automobile industry. So how this ICT technology with this super fast uh, data speed, mm -hmm. ultra low latency, and massive communication features enabled by 5G technology can help the traditional European industry to be even more successful in the coming 10-20 years.